Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. We've talked a lot about AI and uh, chat GPT and uh, large language models and all of those kinds of things that are creeping into every part of our lives, uh, at least they could. And, and not so long ago, I talked about how some police departments were using AI to help them write police reports and actually giving the AI access to like the microphones on their body cameras. And it would then help with the first draft of a police report. And uh, I said, I don't think I'm comfortable with that because we've heard about large language models and chat GPT and AI and these things uh, sometimes, sometimes make mistakes to the point where some of them will actually hallucinate, that's what they call it, when they'll just invent stuff uh, that, that's not there. And so my good friend Tom said, you know, last night, said, Steve, um, we got a new one here. And this is from the Associated Press. Researchers say an AI-powered transcription tool used in hospitals invents things no one ever said. Garrett Burke and Hilke Shellman wrote this. Uh, Open AI has touted its artificial intelligence-powered transcription tool, Whisper, as having near-human-level robustness and accuracy. But it has a flaw. It's prone to making up chunks of text or even entire sentences. According to interviews with more than a dozen software engineers, developers, and academic researchers, they say that uh, some of the invented text, which is known as hallucinating, can include racial commentary, violent rhetoric, and even imagined medical treatments. Um, okay. Experts said that such fabrications are problematic because whispers being used in a slew of industries worldwide to translate and transcribe interviews, generate text in popular consumer technologies, and create subtitles for videos. More concerning, though, is the medical industry because many of them are utilizing whisper-based tools to transcribe patients' consultations with doctors despite open AI warning that tools should not be used in high-risk domains. The full extent of the problem is difficult to calculate, but researchers and engineers said they re, uh, frequently have come across whispers hallucinations in their work. A researcher at the University of Michigan conducting a study of public meetings, for example, said he found hallucinations in eight out of every 10 audio transcriptions he inspected before he started trying to improve the model. Eight out of 10. A machine learning engineer said he initially discovered hallucinations in about half of the over 100 hours of whisper transcriptions he analyzed. A third developer said he found hallucinations in nearly every one of the transcripts he created with whisper, and that was 26,000. The problems persist even in well-recorded short audio samples. A recent study by computer scientists uncovered 187 hallucinations in more than 13,000 clear audio snippets that they examined trend would lead to tens of thousands of faulty transcriptions over millions of recorders, uh, over millions of recordings. And remember, they are saying that even if the snippet was clear, the transcription would get mistakes into it. Such mistakes could have really grave consequences, particularly in hospital settings, says um, a person who helped lead the White House Office of Science and Technology. Nobody wants a misdiagnosis. That's a professor from New Jersey saying there should be a higher bar. Whisper also is used to create closed captioning for the deaf and hard of hearing, a population at particular risk for faulty transcription. That's because the deaf and hard of hearing have no way of identifying fabrications hidden amongst all the other text. So the prevalence of the hallucinations has led experts and advocates and former OpenAI employees to call for the federal government to consider some sort of regulation. At minimum, they said OpenAI needs to address the flaw. So a San Francisco-based research engineer who quit OpenAI over these concerns said, this seems solvable if the company is willing to prioritize it. It's problematic if you put this out there and people are confident about what it can do and integrate it into all these other systems. An OpenAI spokesperson said the company continually studies how to reduce hallucinations and appreciated the researchers' findings adding that OpenAI incorporates feedback in model updates. Uh, yeah, update 2.3, uh, no more hallucinations. <laughs> Not that easy, I know. While most developers assume that transcription tools misspell words or make other errors, engineers and researchers said they'd never seen another AI-powered transcription tool hallucinate as much as whisper. 
The tool is integrated into some versions of OpenAI's flagship chatbot, ChatGPT, and is a built-in offering in Oracle and Microsoft's cloud computing platforms, which service thousands of companies worldwide. It's often used to translate and transcribe text into multiple languages. So I've seen what these programs do with the audio from my videos. <laughs> and I talk too fast. And they just woo, make all kinds of mistakes. But if you said, Steve, we'd really like to have this thing translate your video, uh, the audio, into a transcription, but in another language. I'd say, no, because how would I check that? It's, it'd be hallucinating in another language. <laughs> in the last month alone, one recent version of Whisper was downloaded over 4 million times. Meanwhile, a guy who is a machine learning engineer there said that Whisper is the most popular open source speech recognition model and is built into everything from call centers to voice assistants. So you might call a call center and have this thing talking to you and hallucinating while it's doing it. Now, see, if there's a human hallucinating, it might be funny. But professors at Cornell and uh, University of Virginia examined thousands of short snippets they obtained from TalkBank, a research repository hosted at Carnegie Mellon University. They determined that nearly 40% of the hallucinations were harmful or concerning because the speaker could be misinterpreted or misrepresented. So there's an example that they showed where a speaker, and this is somebody just clearly just talking, said, quote, he, the boy, was going to, I'm not exactly sure, take the umbrella. The transcription software added, he took a big piece of a cross, a teeny small piece. I'm sure he didn't have a terror knife, so he killed a number of people. <laughs> it's only funny because, number one, it's a hallucination, and number two, it's so far from what the original sentence was. The original sentence was something to the effect of, I'm not sure, but I think he was going to take an umbrella. And they turned that into, he didn't have a terror knife, so he killed a number of people. <laughs> a speaker in another recording described, quote, two other girls and one lady, unquote. Whisper invented extra commentary on race, adding two other girls and one lady, um, which were black. Which were black. <laughs> in a third transcription, Whisper invented a non-existent medication called hyperactivated antibiotics. Researchers aren't certain why Whisper and similar tools hallucinate, but software developers said the fabrications tend to occur amid pauses, background noise, or if there's music playing. So if you've got a piece of, I don't know, Jimi Hendrix playing in the background, I can see that thing hallucinating. <laughs> OpenAI recommended in its online disclosures against using Whisper in decision-making contexts where flaws in accuracy can lead to pronounced flaws in outcomes. But that, and here we are back to the beginning, that hasn't stopped hospitals or medical centers from using speech-to-text models, including Whisper, to describe the conversation during a doctor visit, and they're doing that to free up medical providers to spend less time on note-taking or report writing. But of course, what good is it if the notes taken or the report written contain made-up stuff? Over 30,000 clinicians and 40 health systems, uh, including those in Minnesota and Los Angeles, have started using a whisper-based tool built by Nebla, Nebla, which has offices in France and the U.S. The tool is fine-tuned on medical language to transcribe and summarize patients' interactions, said Nebla's chief technology officer. Company officials they are aware that Whisper can hallucinate, and they are addressing the problem. It's impossible to compare Nabla's AI-generated transcript to the original recording because Nabla's tool erases the original audio for data safety reasons. <laughs> it's a little bit more to the story, but I'm going to stop there. But think about that. So you go to talk to your doctor or your doctor's office, and somebody comes in and interviews you, and they record the interview, and then they leave. And then this device transcribes the conversation. It thinks it heard. And then it deletes the original recording for safety reasons. And a doctor looks at the report and goes, oh, okay, I think I know how to treat this person. And goes in there and treats you. And there could be hallucinations in there. Now, the hallucinations in these two different sets of 
you know, the examples they gave. Um, the one about the knife and the umbrella is disturbing. It's disturbing. The other one about the two girls and a lady, which were black, is just strange. You know, and so it's not necessarily the case that every hallucination is going to harm somebody. But you'd like there to be some accuracy there. And when you think that it's going to mistranscribe a word or two, you go, okay, that's, that's to be expected. People make typos. But on the other hand, when it's actually just inventing stuff and sticking it in there. So I was disturbed at the thought that the police would... <laughs> I worked in radio for 20 years. I've been doing videos for YouTube for 10. In the 10 years of doing videos here, I've had a microphone in this spot in front of me for about eight of them, maybe more. And somehow once a week, I whack it with something. <laughs> but <laughs> I digress. So I was disturbed when I heard that the police were using devices like this to draft police reports. And now the police agencies interviewed for that story said, oh, well, we're not doing this for very serious crimes or high level things. It's basically the run of the mill reports like where no charges are filed. And we just we just want to file the report and get the officer back on the street. And I kind of understand that. But you and I both know the driving force behind this creeping into the workplace is not to make the, lo the workload easier for the workers in that sense. It's being done so that they can get work done by programs and machines so they can use fewer people. That's Of course, that's what it's about. So we can make our workforce smaller because we've got chatbots doing their jobs for them. I mean, that's why you've got a call center where you call in and the first three hoops you jump through are recording saying, you know, listen to this flow chart. If this, check this. If this, check this. If, okay, now you, you, you went here. Okay, now... You, you're at another one. People used to do that. It used to be, hello, what are you looking for? Oh, customer service? Okay, hang on, I'll connect you. But they've eliminated that person's job. And so if they have a big medical center with all kinds of people working there, and a bunch of them spend a big portion of their day simply interviewing people and saying, what's, you know, what's brought you here today? I've got this thing on my foot. Oh, let me take a look at it. Oh, put that, put that shoe back on. <laughs> right? And so if they can send in a low-level employee with almost no training and have them ask three or four basic questions and then let this thing do its magic, <laughs> they might be able to lower their payroll. Let's put it that way. And so this frightens me because somewhere along the line, there's going to be a mistake made by one of these things hallucinating. And you're going to get in an argument where, well, our notes say the person said this. Person go, I never said that. Can't prove it because they destroyed the recording for security reasons. And, you know, it's different than the police officer. Because as many people noticed, if a police officer were to sign off on a report drafted by a chatbot and he gets put on the stand, or she, and is asked, in your report, it says this. Isn't that true? You know, there's a good chance to go, well, it does say that. But I didn't write that. I signed the report. I didn't catch that. That's wrong. It's wrong? Now, if a police officer puts something in a report that's wrong, it usually attracts attention of defense attorneys. But when they start saying things like, well, I didn't draft it. Chatbot did. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we cross-examine the chatbot? No? Okay. So the chatbot just invents things, these hallucinations, and they work their way into police reports? Oh, okay. Are there a lot more of them in here? Should we start going through this line by line to see which parts of this report are just made up gibberish? In many respects, you have to understand that these things are actually sort of random word generators. It's like a magic eight ball but with just a lot more options on that thing inside the Magic 8-Ball. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, what they have accomplished is astounding. It is utterly astounding that you can put a prompt into one of these things, and some of the stuff that comes back 
you look at it, it's startling. And especially how fast it can do it. You go, wow, that's impressive. But that doesn't mean it's ready to replace humans in a medical field or a law enforcement field. And, and I know people are saying, but Steve, <laughs> they're coming for you too. Oh, I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. But I suspect that most law firms, if they had chat GP, no, never mind. I, I can't say that even <laughs> because we've already had a ton of law firms that got in trouble. It's almost always sole practitioners or small law firms that are just taking on too much work and they're under the gun and they use some chat GPT like thing to cut some corners and they get in trouble for it. Okay. But the point is this stuff isn't ready for that level of reliability yet. We can't count on it. And so I'm not sure if there's anything worse where these things could be used. I mean, I don't know, air traffic controllers, maybe. <laughs> but I, I, I'll admit I was kind of surprised and, and then not surprised by this story. Because, of course, they put these into hospitals and medical settings because they can save some money. And a dollar saved is a dollar earned, right? And then, of course, the hallucinations in the medical field, uh, that's not good. So we'll see what happens. But, Tom, thanks for sending it from the Associated Press. Garrence Burke and Hilke Shellman wrote that. Researchers say an AI-powered transcription tool used in hospitals invents things no one ever said, which could be a problem. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. When everything's coming your way, you're in the wrong lane and going the wrong way.